So there are a few barriers to adoption of AI in enterprises today. There's the ambiguity of what to apply where. There's the issue of how do you integrate this in a meaningfully stable fashion with the existing legacy environment. And then how do you govern all this in a secure, manageable, um, structured fashion. And really the way to approach this is to start with a curated set of technologies that can be applicable to the problems in that specific company. And the notion of curation is a really important one, particularly in an evolving technology space like AI. The ability to make it modular so you're able to start at a point and then adapt to new needs and emerging requirements and use that modularity as a way to address investment protection as you move the puck forward becomes really important. There's also the need for an API, a mature, open, established application programming interface. So you're able to actually mix and match your existing system records, your data warehouses, your data lakes that sit there today and actually contain a lot of information and the data spits that, that we need for AI but that can actually seamlessly work with the evolving topology of artificial intelligence as you put that into play. Fundamentally, what you're doing is you're going from a human workforce to a digital workforce. And as you do that, you come across new challenges and issues, the likes of which you hadn't thought through when you were operating in the world before. So as an example, if there is a workforce of 100 uh, team uh, colleagues that work in this office and 50 don't show up, yeah, I can tell right away. You can see it and within five minutes, you know, there's, a ch there's an issue, there's something's happened. But if you had 50 software ro robots, or if you had 30 artificial intelligence conversational AI chatbots that were actually automatically entering information or responding to queries, and somehow something as simple as your password policy changed, they can't log on anymore. How do you actually know that? How do you fix that very quickly? Well, in the human workforce, which has evolved over the last 100 plus years, we built all that into place. When you get into digital workforce, you really have to rethink all of that and then, and then really establish a set of control points and checks and balances so you can actually deploy AI at scale in a very measured, managed fashion, particularly in regulated markets.